My ex was the reason I developed an eating disorder and body dysmorphia. Disclaimer, before I met my ex, I already had some problems with food and I was very insecure at that time. Always an open book, so I also talked with a lot of people about my own insecurities and also with him I talked about my insecurities. So he knew about it, he knew that I tried different diets, that I tried to lose weight, that I compared myself extremely with other girls on social media. And instead of pushing my confidence, telling me how beautiful I am, he exactly did the opposite. First, this guy was very rude in general. So he had a lot of toxic behaviors and he was basically a walking red flag. And I was 19 at the time and he was 25 or 26. So he knew about my insecurities, he knew that I'm constantly comparing myself to other girls online and what he did is he was sending me posts on Instagram from his favorite Instagram models. And then he wrote something like, oh my god, look at her, she's so hot, she's so beautiful. This guy also liked every half-naked girl on Instagram and I was constantly seeing those likes those pictures that he sent me so i decided to delete instagram because at that time i thought instagram was the issue and not this man so i decided to delete my instagram profile and then what he did is he sent me those posts from those girls on whatsapp and let me tell you that those girls weren't just normal girls those girls were perfect like the perfect beauty standard they also had a lot of plastic surgery some of them probably also used photoshop so not something that's naturally achievable and a normal girl should compare to and then he started with things like oh your hair is so thin why don't you get extensions i was 19 i had no money for extensions also i was really insecure about my breast size at that time and then he told me things like oh i would love if you get a boob job why don't you think about getting a boob job it would be so great it would fit perfectly to your body so he always criticized my body or my looks and you have to know we got to know each other at the gym so I was always a fit person and also during that time I worked out multiple times a week at the gym but he still found things to criticize and then I remember I guess it was Christmas season and I get, gained a little bit of weight. I mean it's normal to gain some weight during winter or Christmas season. I think it was about two to three kilos, nothing crazy. And then he told me that I'm too fat and I gained weight and it's not attractive anymore. So again, it wasn't good for my self-esteem, so I decided to lose a lot of weight. And I lost a lot, a lot of weight. I was deeply into an eating disorder already, so I was very thin at the time. And then he hugged me and said, oh, now you're really thin. Where's your booty? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Basically, I was never good enough for him and in the end, he dumped me and I had the worst heartbreak ever. But I'm still grateful for this experience because it made me who I am now. And nowadays I'm living the life of my dreams with the partner of my dreams. So everything happens for a reason. But I just want to tell you that you deserve a person that is obsessed with you. But first, you need to be obsessed with yourself because if you don't love yourself, if you don't know your worth, someone else will never worship you. So first, love yourself, and then you will attract the right partner that is obsessed with you, that loves you, that gives you princess treatment.